where you guys are. I thought we were supposed to meet in conference room C. Uh, you didn't read the email? I didn't get an email. I'm sure, you <laughs> said that. No, sure I sent, sent you one. Well, don't feel slighted now, Marshall. I'll never forget about you. Take a seat. Hope I didn't miss much. No, we're pretty much unanimous on sound interstellar and cinematography Grand Budapest. Great I'm here so my voice can get heard. Let's just jump into the deep end, huh? Uh, that's picture. Oh, starting off strong. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Selma. Such an important movie. Irrelevant. Yeah. It's irrelevant. Kind of, I mean, really, just really powerful. It's I really powerful. powerful and relevant as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Powerful. so powerful. Hey, so, so we're all in agreement. I mean, how good was Boyhood? Mm. Oh, so good. You know good. that it's all the same boy. It's the same kid. It's the same kid. Same he grows boy. up. He grows up. In front of your eyes. No makeup. No, no makeup. makeup. No, he, no, that was makeup. actually him aging. Really hits the nail on the head of what it's like to grow up in this country, right, Marshall? Boy, it was great, but you know, I think Selma might be just a little more topical. You know, kind of shines a spotlight on what it was totally. like. Shines a spotlight. For when they were sure. marching? On everything. So powerful. The march was very powerful, but what about the scene between Malcolm X and Coretta Scott King? Oh, see, that so was powerful. that was my favorite part of the movie. Mine too. Mine too. Mine too. That was yours? Okay, vote it out. Vote it out. It was my favorite part. Do you remember what Malcolm X said to Coretta Scott King? What did she, what did she say? Uh, what, he that, said, what did she say? He said, uh... Hey, buddy. Right. Here's the deal. We gotta march. We gotta march. We gotta march. Get that the march. march. That was a cattle. You guys haven't seen the movie? We, Marshall, <laughs> what is this guy? We're, we're members of the Academy. Of yeah. course, of course, we, of course we've seen it. I, oh, I, I okay, well, tell me, what was the movie about? Uh, people. Black people. African American. Specifically, as a unit decided that they had to Betty, march. what was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, I would say Selma. Selma was yeah. your favorite part of Selma? Yeah. I thought she nailed it. You do know that Selma is the name of a town, right? To me, she was so powerful that it was like she was a character. Like it was a, for me, Selma, Dr. King, Jerry. Steve, favorite part of the movie, go. Uh, okay, the scene with, uh, with Dr. King. And he was like, so we have got to be free. Yeah, we have got to be free. We 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 got to be free. There's not a line in the movie. I feel like, what's the last time you saw it though? Nope, nope, not a line in the movie. Hey, Marshall. I almost feel like you did something wrong. Marshall, I don't think I haven't seen you this upset since we picked the nominations for best director, best actor, best actress, best supporting actor, and best supporting actress. What's wrong? I mean, we can table this. We can come back to it. Yeah. Yeah. How about animated feature? Mm. Animated uh, feature. Best animated feature. Yeah, okay. okay. How important was How to Train Your Dragon 2? Uh, uh, wow! Words out of my mouth. Wow! Probably the most powerful movie in the past what? 10 years, animated or not.